a mechanical engineer by choice, author by chance, traveler by passion. When I was in my high school, my parents asked me to decide between engineering or medical. I had to make an option from both of them. I did a toss and I ended up becoming a mechanical engineering three years back. So the coin decided what I wanted to be in my life. That was just a coin. So I'm not going to talk about here about my status. I'm not going to talk about here about my books. I'm going to talk about here what was the source of my inspiration. Why I started traveling alone. That was three years back. Uh, when I was just done with a mechanical engineer, that was a sabbatical time. I really, I badly wanted a break. So, all my friends, we made a plan to visit Himalayas. A one week plan to visit Himalayas. At the very end moment, what they did, they cancelled a trip. So that was there, I was alone. No one, no one to companion. Nobody was there. So I had a choice, whether I should go or whether I shouldn't go. I realized how much dependent I had become on my friends. For being a fun time in my life, whenever I was bored or lonely, I used to call them up for making me feel happy. I was so dependent on them. That was the point I felt I needed to do myself what I really wanted in my life. That was the point. So, after doing mechanical engineering, the life was going very, very okay. 9 to 5 job and weekends party and everything. But the fun was not there. How I ended up becoming an author, how I ended up becoming a social entrepreneur, the rest was in straight. When I started telling people that I was going to Himalayas alone for a week, everybody's first question was the same. Who are you going with? So, when I said I was going on my own, the reactions were very pretty similar. Like, aren't you afraid? Is it going to be okay? Uh, come on, you're a girl. You can't go alone. Someone even sympathized with me. Let's make a plan together some other time. So we're like, oh my god, did you tell your parents? And one of my friends even recommended me a dating website. She thought I had a bad breakup. <laughs> I was going through a pathetic condition in my life. So that was the people reaction there. I don't know, we people, you know, we are ready to go to abroad for higher studies or for business trip. But we start searching for friends or family as soon as these traveling things come up. We start contacting them. Hello, are you free? Are you there? We even put this blog, we even put this post on a Facebook like who is available on this and that. So generally, why this happen? Why do we look out for people in our lives when you have yourself, you know, you don't need anybody, anybody else. So uh, I decided to go by my own for Himalayas and uh, that was a rediscovery for my life. What I felt that after that trip, I have, you know, become very, very quick in my decisions. Like, I used to blame people earlier in my life. Like, due to you, I did this, due to that. If you travel alone, you have to make decisions by yourself. You have no one to ask for when you miss your bus or your train is delayed by 18 hours. You have to make decisions by yourself. What are you going to do now? If you are missing anything, if you are not finding any restaurant, any cheap restaurant, if you are not finding any accommodation, you have to decide by yourself. You have to use your own brains. And trust me, you get to meet a lot of new, new, amazing new people when you are traveling alone. I remember meeting a man who told me how he became a police officer from once a rag picker. So his story was really, really inspirational to me. And you start realizing that what kind of friends you were missing in your life. Mountains start becoming your companion. They start following you everywhere. You start telling your stories to beaches. You start sharing your secrets to stars. And your 9 to 5 job get converted to sunrise to sunset. So that was the difference was there I found in my life. <coughs> Apart from that, everything, you know, uh, we generally follow this social panorama like we have to do the job, we have to get into marriage and then child and then get to retirement. Then it's time for yourself. When you are going, do you, have you ever discovered yourself? So traveling alone will make you find discover yourself. That was my way to find out myself. And that was a huge turning point in my life. Since then I have traveled to 31 countries and all over India. 
So that, that was three years back. I made a decision to travel to Himalayas and ever since I have visited so many countries and I have many, many stories to tell how many people I met and how many stories I rediscovered there and how much I know about myself which I was completely unaware about that time. So, you know, a uh, few weeks back when I was in Ahmedabad, I was in bus and a guy, he suggested me some kind of meditation, specific meditation or yoga. He thought I was depressed or something. Do you really have to go to that level of depression to try something like traveling alone? I don't understand. If you are alone, it's like that you, you know, he or she must have a personal loss in his life or he or she must have some kind of uh, breakup, bad breakup or he or she must be going through some I started writing something. The story was going in my head. So I started it, I started from the morning to afternoon to evening to the night and I ended up becoming an author. I published three books after that. So here you, you get to meet a lot of people. You generally found your passion in life. What is your passion? What is not, you know, you are following what the other people are doing. That is a complete rat, rat race. I mean, we have all talked about what is rat race and what our parents want or what our grandparents want or what our mother-in-laws or father-in-laws want. But what do you want? What you actually aspire to be in your life? I, I was also in the same path. I was also doing the same thing but that was not me that was something else i was becoming something else i was not that so that was my story i rediscovered myself just after one trip so i definitely recommend everybody to go and travel alone at least once in a life not once in a life at least after every month after every month i think you should make a trip alone so there were many, many points that are missing out, like what are the advantages of traveling alone? Why you should go and travel out alone? First, that you start making very quick decisions in life, like for example, I start blaming people. If my speech here doesn't go well, then I won't blame other people. I would put that blame on myself, that this is my mistake, because you know, I have st uh, started taking decisions on my own. I have stopped asking from my parents or from my family or from them to uh, everything in my life. They are, they, you know, their judgments, their opinions, they affect too much in our life, which is not necessary, which is not required anymore. So traveling alone is a concept which definitely makes you rediscover yourself and I think it definitely converts you into a very, very battered person. <laughs> That's it. When you keep searching for opportunities,